So how do you set up and customize your YouTube homepage? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do right here in this video. My name is Raheem Madison, and we are gonna jump right into the content. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the best practices within each section on your homepage, and then after that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make the changes within each of the sections, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So right here, we got our banner, right? So typically, if a person is watching one of your videos and then they decide, man, that was some good content, and then they go over to your homepage, the banner is typically the first thing they're gonna see. So when they come to your banner, you wanna have it positioned in the right way. So I'm gonna point out a few things. So right here, you can see I got my channel name then I have my logo right so if you have more of like a company based channel or brand based channel then you could just have your logo and maybe the name of the channel and then also what's very very important is your value proposition so like what is the expectation for people when they come to their to come to your channel like what are they gonna get what type of content and so for me right helping you grow an audience and income using online video right so a person has that expectation as soon as they come to the channel oh that's what this is about let me go ahead and subscribe because that's what I'm interested in at that moment, right? And then right here, we got the lead magnet. So if you're an online entrepreneur and you actually wanna start generating leads and getting people going throughout your process, then you can actually position that there and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that throughout the rest of the video, all right? All right, so now the next section is the video spotlight section. Notice I have how to rank YouTube videos on the first page of Google and my framework for that is to go with the video that has been proven to work the best. So if it's gotten you a lot of subscribers, that means it's proven to get subscribers if it has a long average view duration that means it's proven to get people watching a long time and nine times out of ten if people are watching your video for a long time they have some type of enjoyment which means they can actually turn into subscribers long term right so that's kind of like my framework some people actually like to put like a uh, dedicated video trailer which is basically a video that goes somewhat like this hey what's going on my name is XYZ and on this channel we talk about XYZ one two three and and then you could probably go into like your story and give them a little bit more expectation, pretty much what you did in the banner. So I'm not like too big on the, the dedicated channel trailers. I like to just kind of follow the framework that I just kind of broke down, which is basically go with the most proven video. Then right here, these are more like um, what I would call like the mini course section, right? Where you put together like mini courses that are specific to one thing. So let me show you on my other channel exactly what I mean. So as you can see over on this channel, I start with you know inside of the sections I got popular uploads and then right here YouTube ads for beginners right so you can see I named it specific to that one thing and so everything inside of this playlist right here is related to being ads so a person can go through there and get all the information that they need then right here I got the being ads for beginners so inside of here we got boom 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 all of these videos about being ads and then the same thing here core for beginners now site marketing for beginners Digit store for beginners, right? So hopefully you're getting the point. It's kind of like these mini courses that are very, very specific to one thing, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually show you how to make these changes so these things can actually start showing up on your homepage. All right, so based on the frameworks I just gave you to be able to make the changes within those sections, you wanna go ahead and go over here to this left side tab and you wanna click on customization. So once you click on it, you wanna then go to the branding tab. So this gonna take care of your profile picture, YouTube banner, and also your video watermark so to be able to upload it all you got to do they're going to give you the opportunity to be able to hit the upload button you're going to upload a file from your computer and then the same thing goes for the banner now if you haven't yet already created a banner i put together a step-by-step -step video that's going to show you exactly how to get that done and i'll leave that down below in the description and you can go ahead and watch that right after you watch this video all right then down here we got our video watermark that's this little picture that you see right here which is basically all i did is i went on the internet I found me a subscribe button. I removed the background from it and then I uploaded it right here inside of the platform and then I set mine to entire video. So at any point in the video, if a person want to subscribe, they have the opportunity to do so. Very, very simple. So then after I take care of those, I then come over here to this layout tab. So this layout tab is basically where these videos going to be 
on your homepage, right? So remember the framework. The framework is put a video that's proven to get you subscribers. So if a video on your channel has already gotten a bunch of subscribers or it has a long watch time, make sure you put that video right there. Or you can go ahead and do like I was talking about the dedicated trailer video if you just really want to do that. All right. So to be able to change it, all you want to do is you want to click on these three dots. I'm going to hit change video. And then if I want to change it, all I got to do is just literally click on any one of these videos here. And then I'll just make sure after I do that. And this is very, very important. Anytime you make any changes inside of here, you always want to make sure you hit the publish button. Because if you don't hit the publish button, it's not going to save any of your changes, right? So make sure you don't forget that. All right. So then we're going to go down. And then right here, this is where we create like those mini courses. At least that's what I call it, right? So all these really are are just any of my playlists. So if I come over here to my playlist section, they already named and they already have a bio inside of them. So it lets people, you know, know what they're going to be learning. So when people come over here, like when they go, you know, to my homepage over here and they start scrolling down how to rank videos on YouTube full process. So everything within that playlist is going to teach them how to do that. And so you could apply the same kind of thing across your channel and then how to do it. All you got to do is just hit add section and let me go ahead and pull me up a little bit and then right here you can see it says single playlist created playlist multiple playlists right so all that's really all they are and then you just create your own little mini courses and it creates the packaging for you then I will come over here to this basic info tab so as we can see right here this will be my bio so one thing that I would recommend that you do is make sure that you include within your bio the name of your channel and also keywords that you want your channel to show up for when people are actually searching right so you want to do a little bit a little a little bit of SEO inside of here. And then if you want, you can actually have a link like I have here, which is actually one of my lead magnets. You could do that if you want, or you don't have to, right? Obviously it's optional for you to do that. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here. You see how I say links. So what this is, you remember early in the video, I talked about the lead magnet, right? So all I did was I made sure, you know, I went here first. And as you can see, you can put two links, three links, four links, five links, whatever you want to do. I just got mine set to first link. So so then I put the call to action that I want people to see. I then put the link. And then all I did after that is I literally went up here and I hit publish. So since I've already done it, I'm not going to do it here in this video, but that's how you would actually go about doing it for yourself. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet put together your YouTube channel banner, I want you to watch this video next because it's going to show you step by step exactly how to do that. See you over there.